Hello, Miss Jackie Russell here. Hey, I'm all bare today. I'm going to do an Omnilux mask Monday. So I have got all my instruments here, I guess. I have my neck and decollete, and I have my face mask, and I'm gonna put all that on. And I know in the past, I have told y'all that I do not use this hydrogel face mask and I don't, I don't like it. I still have three left. I haven't used any since that last video of my 12 day and I told you I didn't like it. I wasn't kidding. But I'm going to uh, try this or at least show you how it works and or not works so you can see for yourself. The biggest thing about it is it slides off your face. You definitely need to be laying down to do this. I need to get all my uh, mask out. I have a face mask and I also have the neck and decollete. So we'll get them ready. I keep them in these bags. They send you these bags. They actually send you everything you need. You have your your charger, you have your plug-in to charge, and then you also get your you know your actual charger that you turn on. And it stays on automatically for 10 minutes. I like that because I don't have to sit there and clock it out. It just does it. And you can watch TV or, or maybe do some work around the house while you're doing the mask. Let's get this on. This is going to be interesting. I don't know how I can do this talking. So I'm going to just try to, to get it on first. And then we'll go from there. Let's hope it don't tear apart. That's another problem I had with it. Besides it not staying on, it wanted to tear. So this is what it looks like, putting it around my mouth. And here's where we're gonna start having trouble. This never wants to stay on. <laughs> oh, and it's like you have to fight it to stay up. And once it starts falling, there really isn't much change in it. See, look at that. That's why I hate this mask, and that's a strong word, but who wants to put on a mask that's not going to stay on? Look, I just cannot keep this on. But I want y'all to see how much trouble this is. If you're not at their facility laying down on their bed and having someone else apply this to you, it is very frustrating. And I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna leave my head up and see if I can get just the face mask on without it falling off. The mask is very easy to put on, okay? So I mean, that part's not hard at all. I mean, it just slips right through these uh, places that they have and it's Velcro on the other side. So it just snaps on real easily. You can get it as tight as you want. Now I can tell you that that on the inside is already moved and is by my eye, which is not a fun thing. I still have it on so far, I think. Results wise, I think I've had pretty good results. It has lightened my skin. It does help with the redness around my face, I guess. And on my decollete, that part I can't tell because I have I guess they call it plaque psoriasis and it stays red most of the time but I, I can say I've had some improvement on that I've had questions on that I'm gonna turn this on and now I'm lit up like an alien and it'll stay on for 10 minutes we can talk about this mask which is so slippery that's why I do not like the mask I don't even know if they're that great if you can't keep them on and I would think a company that's selling you a product that's about $400 each. And I think they first started off at $500 each. That they would have, you know, a mask that would work with you while you're sitting up. Most of us are not going to sit down or lay down. Well, you might. I mean, it's very relaxing. If you want to, you can. I usually either do sit-ups or something or I'll go and watch TV or I might even do my dishes or something <laughs> if I need to get something done. Now I do still have something around my lips 
and I don't know if you can tell but I'm looking in the mirror and it's sideways I don't know if you can tell but I still have everything on and it hasn't fallen off completely but it's it's dislodged it's not where it's supposed to be so it feels a little uncomfortable when you're trying to have a mask on and you've got this on top of it a lot of moisture into your skin while you do the hydra mask but I did contact the company and they said the best thing to do if you don't like the mask is to use some good vitamin C serum. Now I have bought Synceuticals uh, Ferisic Acid C that has the vitamin E in it and it has the I think it's 15% absorption components in it so that it actually is on your skin and that particular vitamin C serum once you put it on your skin has 72 hours of protection against free radicals I guess environmental attacks I guess and maybe even the Sun I don't think it's a sunscreen but I think it does help to protect your skin because it's been proven it's been tested that is the one serum that I can tell you has been tested and if it's not approved by the FDA it's real close I did contact them about the vitamin C and then they told me to use vitamin C they said I could do it while I had the mask on or I could wait till afterwards and I listened to a couple of dermatologists on their preferences when you're using red light therapy and most of them said it's better to use it after you know right after you've done the Omnilux and or any type of red light therapy now as I was telling you earlier each piece the mask is 400 or it was for me it was 395 and this was 395 you would have to go to Omnilux.com to see what they have now to see if the prices are the same, higher, or better. I don't know. I will tell you that there's an active code with Hot and Flashy, and her code is Angie10, and you can get 10% off from your Omnilux mask. I am going to have before and after photos at the end. I'm not tech savvy so I can't just drop in pictures and stuff I do know how to drop one in at the end so I'll have my before and after and this is gonna be my three month even though it's been longer than three months I took the photos at three months so this will be my three month use and results of the Omnilux and as I was telling you I have noticed changes I guess in fine lines in the color as far as brightening of my skin other people have noticed it even with my makeup on and stuff they can tell that my skin looks brighter and younger looking even though you know for me <laughs> I can't tell to me it still looks the same but that's because I see my face every day and it's very hard for me to see the differences and even when I look at the before and after I'm so critical of myself and I don't know if anybody else is like that but but I am and I'm thinking, well, it's not doing anything. But when I look at it really closely, I can tell that it is. And I guess it's not going to be a miracle worker. It's not going to take off 10 years. Wouldn't that be great if it did? But the big thing that it might do is slow down where I'm at. I didn't really start noticing any aging on me. <laughs> I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to say till I was about 58, I might have started seeing some small signs but I didn't see the most signs till I turned 60. When I was 60 I was like oh my goodness I better do something and I didn't do too much I guess at 60 <laughs> but at 61 which I am now I think I ordered this Omnilux I ordered it around my birthday so when I turned 61 so I basically started using this at the age of 61 and like I was telling you earlier, I didn't really notice a lot of the aging on my skin until, until I was in my late 50s. Um, I always ate good, I always exercised, and I always took care of my skin. And I used good products, and you all I'll know I use Estee Lauder products for most of all my everything. <laughs> Makeup to foundation to eyeshadow, everything. Cleanser, I like it all. Now I do use other products like SkinCeuticals and I use a lot of other, I try other products that come, you know, in those little packages like FabFitFun and whatever, the other beauty products. 
that I might get, but they're not on my front list of using. That mask that's on my face down at the bottom, it's really hanging down. Is it coming down through here? No. Can you see it? I'm going to get closer in. It's moving around. Now it's halfway over here. Maybe because I'm talking. I can see part of it through the light myself. And it's trying to get in my mouth. <laughs> oh, but anyways, back to the, to the using product. I was telling you that I mostly use Estee Lauder product, but I didn't always use Estee Lauder. When I was younger, I used Lady Love Cosmetics, which is out of business now. I used a lot of Clinique when I was younger because I had acne. I had adult acne in my 30s. And uh, so I had to start using Retin-A and glycolic acid. And I started using that in my 30s and I still use that. And you can use uh, Retin-A and you can use your glycolic acid with this mask. I mean, not, pro not no product on while you're doing the mask, but I mean, you can use it in conjunction with the mask. And I don't have any problem with it at all. And I know others have not either, but now you would have to test that. It may not be, they don't recommend it necessarily, but they, it all depends on the individual. Those things really help your skin as well course I had the adult acne and it was prescribed to me and it got it under control and believe it or not at this time in my life at 61 I even every once in a while will get a breakout it just blows my mind you think what am I doing with a breakout for but I get them and it's just part of life I guess overall I have uh, really enjoyed using the Omnilux mask. I do it now for 20 minutes, which now my lights have gone off and I just turn them back on again. Go for 20 minutes. I usually run it for two rounds of 10 minutes and I do it three times a week. I actually got that tip from one of you. Uh, someone that watched one of my videos of the Omnilux told me that you can actually do it two times in a row back to back. And I would say, especially after I had already been doing it for a couple of months, I started doing that and I didn't have any issue whatsoever. Found it to be just fine and I'm hopefully going to get better, more effective results. Now the results you're going to see of my three months was just me doing it three times a week, 10 minutes each session. So that particular before and after is going to only be the original way that I started doing it, the way that they instruct you to do it. They do say in the instructions, after he told me that, I read through there and it did say that you could go 10 to 20 minutes on the home devices. It's really sliding down here now. This mask underneath here is really bugging me because it is falling down. It's uh, like trying to go below my lips. I don't know if you can see it's already broke apart. It's disintegrating. See that? No, I would not. Again, I'm going to stay with my original. Don't waste your money on these masks. They're not very expensive. They're frustrating. They could be effective, but I don't like that I'm having so much trouble with it, even with I'm trying to talk. I just, I don't like the way this is feeling. Now, it doesn't burn. I've had questions. Does it burn? No, it does not burn. Um, you don't even really know that it's doing it. I mean, the lights are bright and you can see that, but you can still see everything around you. You could read if you needed to, but the mask itself is, is very relaxing. Like I said, it's very easy to use. And if you're, whatever you're doing, you can stop and put this mask on and it's no trouble whatsoever. Everybody can do it at different times. I like to do mine in the mornings, but other people may like to do it in the evenings when they get home or right before they're going to bed just to relax and kind of wind down. Totally up to you when you want to do it. It doesn't matter. It's just a matter of doing it at least three times a week, and you can do it more than three times. I think it said in the little booklet that you could do it three to four times a week. There's probably some people that do it more than that, I'm just doing three times a week. Every once in a while, I'll do a fourth one. But anyways, I know you all might have questions again. So, of course, you can comment. If you've used Omnilux, give me your results and your comments. 
of how you like it. Whatever questions you have, I'll try to answer anything that I can. I've been very pleased with the Omnilux. I have been pleased with the results. I do believe that it has helped my skin. I will continue to use it and I may go ahead and end this early today so I can show you what it looks like lit up. A few minutes isn't going to hurt and then of course we're going to have that mouth falling off. We'll just start off here. But this is how it looks when it's lit up. So you can see all those lights that are on there and you just lay that right across there. It has two different styles of straps. If you would rather have this going up your chin like that, there's a longer strap that you can use for that. But I just use it just like that. It's no big deal to me. I'm gonna turn this off. You just click that button and it's off. And then on my face, we're gonna get this off of here. And see how that gel mask did, the Hydra mask. <laughs> Yeah, it's already falling off. I hadn't even got the mask off and it's already off. I'm having a little bit more trouble than normal, maybe because I'm talking to y'all, but usually I don't have any trouble getting that off. But yeah, the mask is on here. And see, it's just disintegrated. And here's how this looks. This is how many lights is on the back side of this. So they're all lit up. And it works very well. You turn it off. And then this is your mask. And I mean, it's just falling apart. Just, <laughs> I don't get it. But maybe that's what they're supposed to do. I think they tell you to kind of rub some of that around your skin. You know, if there's any left for moisture purposes. I don't even like to do that. So I'm going to just put this pack in the little package and it's done but I don't know if y'all can tell from the beginning to now if my face got red I don't think it really is that's one of the things you have to watch for when you first get the Omnilux they want you to test it on your hand and see how you react to it if you get real red to it or something they don't want you using the Omnilux they want you to pack it up and send it back they're very specific when you get it because they want to make sure that it's going to work for you and I would have to say nine times out of 10, it works for everybody. Now I have that psoriasis up here. I don't know if that'll ever, you know, get cleared up or anything. And it always is a little red through there. That's normal or normal for me. This has been a long video as so I'm gonna let you go. Remember at the end, we have the photos and you can see the before and after. And of course you can click on any of my other videos and you know, see my skin when I've got my makeup on and everything but overall I would say it's done real well yeah I had a breakout over here so <laughs> like I told you um, even at 61 getting breakouts I will tell you the line here for my neck used to be more uh, I guess deeper or more prominent and since I've used Omnilux it's gotten better so you know it does help with the fine lines and I think it's even improved right around here a little bit because, you know, it's starting to, to sag because it does put collagen into your skin or help. it helps to motivate the collagen to work. But anyways, this is all I have today for Omnilux. Again, if you have any questions or comments about the Omnilux, please, please put them down in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like. And if you're interested in more updates and would like to see some of my other content, I do a lot of different things. I've got some uh, unboxings that I do mostly of all different types of products and services. And I also have my puppies every once in a while on the channel. If you want to subscribe, we would welcome you and I encourage you to do so. And as for today, this is all I have for the Omnilex update on Mask Monday. You all have a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.